Back with another Krypton Quest video. In this video, we're going to talk all about alien prevention. We're going to talk about how you get chosen, what you do, what all the steps are, what you get. We're going to talk about barracks building. I'm going to show you crafting a barracks, a gold barracks, so you can see what it's like. Hopefully we'll succeed. And we're going to go into even more detail. And I got some information from the devs that I'm going to share along the way. But with that said, let's go and just jump in so we can get started. I want to thank Krypton for sponsoring this video. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a gamer who loves playing games. <laughs> we also have a Discord where we give out a free NFT every week. So if you're interested, check out the Discord. We have long talks about anything extra that we find out and about a whole bunch of different projects. So feel free to join. The link is down below. Let's start off building a barracks. Go ahead and choose build NFTs at the bottom. This is going to take you to the area where all the barracks are. You can go through and click through and find which one you'd like. Each of them have different bonuses, and we'll go over that a little more later. In this video, we're going to craft the gold barracks and see if we can go ahead and get it. I'm with Astro. We have a 99% chance, and you can see the resources that are needed below. The HD R1, New Iron, and Core 3. Let's go ahead and click Build and see what we get. We're going to talk more about these resources in a minute. Once you hit build, it's going to bring you here and you can go ahead and choose OK or NFT inventory. The item is going to go right into your NFT inventory, so you can click NFT inventory. But for now, I'm going to go and just click OK and it is going to spin a bit. However, this is usually done fairly quick. So once this is done, you can go back to your inventory and check. Now, the question is, are we successful? We're a 99% chance rate. So am I that one out of 100? I don't think so. Let's go and choose NFT inventory. Here we're going to choose the building tab and bam, we got ourselves a gold barracks. There it is in all of its glory. We're going to go over this information more in detail in a moment, but I want to show you how it's crafted so you understand. Now remember each faction has different options and different percentages, so make sure you check them. Astra's the 99%. Let's go ahead and show you how to equip the building. What you want to do is go to your Krypton army and then you're going to go ahead and choose building and then there's going to be a free slot to choose install building. Go ahead and click it and install. Now you're running with the extra bonuses and all the information. Now these bonuses actually are not live yet, but they will be live soon. So currently these extra percentages are not happening. You're still in the build up phase so you can prepare. Let's take a look at the barracks one by one to give you an idea of what they do. If we click on the comment, it's going to show you the picture just to give you an idea. Looks awesome. And a barracks is really nice because it helps allow you to have more army in your army. And if we look here, it says unlock slots. You get four more units you can have. There's also a 10% chance to prevent stealing and attacking from other players. And 5% attack for all robots in your army. That means you're whole army is going to get an extra 5% attack. That's crazy. When stolen or attacked by players or aliens and unable to use the ability at the same time, there is a 10% chance to send robot soldiers to kill aliens automatically when you're being attacked. Now we're going to show you an attack in live time in a moment, but this gives you an idea of how all that works. 5% to attack and 10% for preventing. If we go to the silver, it's going to be very similar. Go ahead and click it just to show you what that looks like and it looks a little better. And we're going to go ahead and read down here. And it's basically the same thing, except this one has five units. There's a 20% chance to prevent stealing and attacking from other players and 10% attack for all robots in your army. And then we got 20% chance to automatically prevent alien attacks. Finally, we got the big gold one, and there it is. For some reason, it's showing up a lot bigger on my screen, maybe because it's gold, but it's pretty awesome. And we are adding this today, so I'm excited. If we go down here, we're going to say unlock 10 slots for units. There's a 20% chance to prevent stealing and attacking, and then other players and 20% attack for all robots in your army. This is where it's going to start getting interesting. There's a 35% chance to send robot soldiers to kill the aliens automatically. So how do these stats work? Well, I checked with the devs and I was thinking, you know, 
to have the golds the best because once you have the gold, that one's going to take place. But no, they stack. So because they stack, the more barracks you have, you can add all these numbers together and you can get a huge increase. This could change in the future, but currently they are pretty solid about sticking with the stacking. So we're going to see most likely stacking, but there's always a chance things can change as the game progresses. Kevin, that's great. How do you get these materials? Well, there's multiple ways. One way is by purchasing these boxes in the shop. This is a premium one. Premium will have a chance to have a common barracks, and they'll also have the HDR1 right there. The HDRX1s are very rare compared to the Dark Iron and the Core 3. You can't get these HDRX1s inside the silver boxes, only the gold. So these are the items you can get through a premium. Are there other ways to get them? Yes. What you could do is when you log in, you're going to have this red border and you're going to have these crazy loud sounds. You can always go into the settings and turn the music and the sound off if you would like, or just right click your tab at the top and mute. Now, once you see this, something's happening with your radar. You either need to refill your robots or you have an alien attack. So let's go ahead and click radar alert and see what it is. We are actually being attacked. So this Chameleon is coming after my miner and we don't want that to happen. Now, most likely he's going to go ahead and battle my miner and the stats are okay. So there's a chance he could beat my miner, but probably not. But still, he can definitely cripple him. Let's go ahead and choose prevent because if we click prevent, we can choose someone to fight that little guy. Now, he might be tough for a miner, but he is nothing for a silverling. So let's go ahead and choose a silverling and send them over and have him crush. We'll go ahead and choose this one. His stats are all the way up and he will take care of that thing right away. Now the radar alert's done and you can see prevent successful. Here we are at the main screen. Not only was that successful, but we did have two other NFTs drop that were not seen by me because I was sleeping. So I have Claim NFT X3. These alien preventions will give you the materials you need to build barracks, build more robots, and hopefully be building equipment and stuff with your robots soon. People are pushing and selling a lot of these materials on the Atomic Hub, but you might want to be careful and save some because when the equipment drops and you need these materials to build more weapons for your robots, you might want to have some because I think all of a sudden they're going to fly up. Right now, it's really nice that these do drop because you can build up your stuff the more and more you go. So what we're going to do now is claim the three materials, see what they are, and be happy about it. <laughs> so we want to go claim NFT, and it says X3, not the reward. The reward is your cube. The NFT is your NFT. And here we got one of each, which is perfect. You can claim them one at a time or you can claim them all. We're going to go ahead and choose claim all. You're going to have to sign and then we can go back and that's going to disappear. Now we can go in our NFT inventory over here. We can choose material and we can see the material we have saved up. So we have two cores, three irons and one HDRX1. Like I said, the HDRX1 are a little harder to get. But you notice over here there is armor. You're going to build armor. There are weapons. You're going to build weapons and then your your boxes will be here if you have them. You're going to need this stuff. We are really far behind on packs, but I think we're doing pretty solid altogether. I think once all the packs run out, I think we're going to be pretty up there. Now you're probably saying these alien attacks, how do they happen? Who do you know is going to get chosen? Is it because of the size of your army? It is not. It is purely random who gets chosen. I've checked with the devs. They said 100% random. There's nothing that matters. If you get picked, you get picked, and that's it. I've been getting a lot of drops. I've probably got about 10 since it got turned back on, and I do have a large team, but I've spoken to people that have gotten about the same amount with a third or half of the size of my team. So I can confirm that it does look completely random, and that is how you get chosen. It just happens. I tried to induce it, but couldn't do it. It's just random. 
Keep in mind these military supply chests are coming soon. These expansion packs will give you some nice stuff, most likely weapons for your robots. I have not talked to them about that because that's coming and I just wanted to make sure I got the information that I wanted to about the buildings and the alien attacks. Having the buildings stack is going to be great for me. If we take a look at my army, we can just look at my buildings. You can see I have six buildings. This is a lot of percentage that's going to stack because two are gold and four are silver. So this is going to really bump it up. And if you want to take a quick look at my army, I'll show you that. Here's my stats on this side. Uh, I have 37 out of 50, six buildings. Attack power is 3140. And mining power is 33.7. Cube is 36.6. So I have a bunch more new members I can bring on. If we go into our army, we'll scroll through here and show you what we've got so far. We got four dragos. We got, I believe, four gold miners. We got some silvers. And I'll just keep scrolling. We got chameleons. I think I have five of those now. More gold miners, and then the silverlings bring out the bottom. I have three of those. I did want to get more, and I actually had money for it and went to buy it. And at that moment, someone bought all the cheap ones right before I got there. So unfortunately, I didn't have enough left, and I couldn't buy my fourth one. I really wanted a fourth one, but we're, we're with this. We're silver linings right now. We have three, and I'm hoping to get one more in the future. Maybe get some packs. Because since I have so many spots, I really want to fill it up. So I'm thinking of, you know, going with some packs next and seeing if I can do that. That's everything I have for you right now with Krypton. Again, this is not financial advice. I want to thank Krypton for sponsoring this video. I am not a financial advisor. I'm just a gamer, as you know, and I do a weekly giveaway on my Discord. So you can definitely check that out with the link down below. And I try to give the winner something towards games they play. So if it's Krypton, maybe we'll see if we get you some soldiers or something. Thank you for the view.